I'm going to show how to do uh, multiple regression in Google Sheets rather than Excel using the Excel Miner extension. So here I've got an um, artificial data set with two X variables and one Y variable. And I want I know ahead of time I want to do a regression, so I'm going to go to Extensions, Add-ons, Get Add-ons. And in some sense, if I didn't know exactly which uh, plugin I wanted, I would just look for anything that can do regression. It turns out this one is the best one to use. It's from the same company that makes um, Solver in name brand Excel, uh, so it's reasonably trustworthy. And we'll say install, it needs our permission. I think it's trustworthy. And we'll do that. Okay, we'll allow all that. And it takes a minute or so here. Okay, it's been installed. I'll hit done. Close that. And we'll go to extensions, Excel Miner Analysis Tool Pack. Start. And we want to do regression, so we look down the list here for linear regression. And it needs us to tell it what Y range. So uh, the plan is, it's kind of the opposite of Excel. Uh, in Excel, you click here. Uh, in the dialog box and then highlight what you want. Here you highlight what you want and then click in the dialog box and it puts in the cell reference. So I know for the X range we'll want these two variables. So we'll highlight those and then click here. Uh, then I'm going to say yes, I've provided the labels when I highlighted things. I don't really need this confidence level thing. Uh, the output range, um, in Excel it will often want to put it in a new sheet, which is usually the right thing. Uh, or the best thing to do here. It doesn't seem to have that option, so I'm just kind of putting it off to the side, leaving some space. Um, maybe I'll leave a little more space. Um, so I click somewhere over here and then click in the output range box, and it says, okay, I will start putting the output in that cell and then farther down to the right. Uh, I want it to compute and give me residuals and residual plots. Standardized residuals is something more for STAT 471, so I'll skip it for now. I'll do the line fit plots. I would usually want normal probability plots, but there's a major bug in how Excel does it, at least. I'm not sure about Excel Miner and Google Sheets, so it's not even worth checking, at least for Excel. So it's more of a step 471 thing anyway. So I hit OK, and it gives me output like my R squared is 0.6-ish. That's not bad. I mean, it's artificial data, um, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, it gives me my coefficients, the standard errors on the coefficients. It gives me plots. Let's see if I can grab them, move them around, so I can see all the other stuff. Or I can at least see that um, the uh, x-axis makes sense. Sometimes I've had, um, particularly max, end up with an x-variable axis that is just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, rather than the actual values here. Um, but here it seems reasonable, um, and we can look at the second one, see if it's x-axis stuff is reasonable. Also not just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so I guess that's okay. So that's the basics of it. Also let's check what if I change the data, does my output change? So if I change this to something obviously quite different, the output does not change. So we'll hit undo there. I bet if I added another data point here, maybe I'll just copy this one, the output also does not change. I would have to go redo the regression entirely. We can also wonder uh, where does it record various things? Um, so uh, it does give us the names of the variables we used here, so that's good. Where does it record the name of the Y variable? In Excel, the only place it appears is here, and so I guess it still has that in Google Sheets and Excel Miner. Uh, in Google Sheets, when it creates a new sheet, it's not clear where, which sheet the original data came from, but here at least it's in the same sheet, so it's a little bit more trustworthy to know where the data came from.